when you look into their eyes, you know somebody is home. They're an animal that possesses great spiritual power not to be meddled with. Orange County Sheriff's Office. We need SO to respond for a dead person at SeaWorld. A whale has eaten one of the trainers. Tilikum, though, is the one that went after her. Don is the senior trainer here at Shamu Stadium. She captured what it means to be a SeaWorld trainer, that it made me realize what happened to her really could have happened to anyone. I've been expecting somebody to be killed by Tilikum. We weren't told much about it, other than it was trainer error. It didn't just happen. It's not a singular event. You have to go back to understand this. The speedboat herded them in, and they could just pick out the young ones. This is the worst thing that I've ever done. When Tilikum arrived at SeaWorld, he was twice as large as the next animal. We stored these whales in what we call a module, which was 20 feet across and 30 feet deep, and the lights were all turned out. Probably led to what I think is a psychosis. All whales in captivity are all psychologically traumatized. It's not just Tilikum. If you were in a bathtub for 25 years, don't you think you'd get a little psychotic? Dawn would tell you that it was her mistake. They blamed her. It's just a bold-faced lie. I was just instructed to get rid of the day. The industry has a vested interest in spinning these. That sells a lot of Shamu dolls. It sells a lot of tickets at the gate. There's no record of an orca doing any harm in the wild. episode of this YouTube series that I'm calling London Talks. Um, this week I'm talking about the controversial documentary Blackfish. Now I'm going to try and put some images behind me via green screen as you can see. It's going to be very controversial. This is going to be the public opinion on the documentary. I'm going to have in the description I'll have the links to um, OSHA's reports to how to get the documentary. Um, download from iTunes, download from Amazon, download the DVD, buy the DVD rather. Um, if you haven't seen Blackfish yet, I suggest you go and watch it. The other one I suggest you watch is The Cove. Both of them are very eye-opening and will both of them are very eye-opening and will help you understand the situation a bit better. Now, it's very important. I'm not associated with OSHA. I'm not associated with blackfish, and I'm not associated with dog warfare either. Here now is the public's opinion of blackfish and of SeaWorld. Before you see that, I'm going to go through my my opinions and what I think. I'm going to answer the same questions that I've given the public so that oh yeah, it's all fair and whatnot. My name is Joe Bilbo, I'm 26. I'm nearly 27 at the time I'm making this video. Um, and I am a photographer slash YouTuber. Yes, I have heard of Blackfish, hence why I'm making this video. My thoughts are that SeaWorld are guilty, and they know they're guilty. Which is why they wouldn't take part in this documentary. So for them to turn around and say that Blackfish is very one-sided, well, you didn't take part, did you? Of course it's one-sided. When I was younger, I wanted to go. Um, I've learned a lot from watching documentaries, from watching things such as Steve Irwin on TV and other things that have been going on in the past. Um, no, I don't want to go now. Um, I realised that through watching other documentaries like The Cove. SeaWorld obviously haven't safeguarded their trainers at all. Um, they knew about Tilikum's they knew about Tilikum's previous encounter, they knew what happened, and they didn't safeguard anyone. Uh, they, they could have done, but they haven't managed. 
Hence why Dawn was sadly killed by Talikan because they didn't let her know what happened in the past or anyone else what happened in the past. Okay, this is going to be a very controversial idea of mine. Um, the whale that played Free Willy, I can't remember his name, um, he was put out into a sea pen for a while and then let into the wild into, I think he was put back into ice in actually. Um, after about two years he developed pneumonia and sadly died. Um, on that basis, I think, considering where Tilikum is and what he's been involved in, I feel the safest, the safest and fairest option to just have him put down. Um, there may be a lot of people who don't agree with that, but that's my view. And the same goes for the rest of the family, his family in SeaWorld and his young they made from him. Because they're all captive anyway, they're born in captivity. I don't think any whale pods will take them on if they were put in the wild. Now I wouldn't have to do that. <laughs> I'm completely against it. What do you think you're doing? How dare you do what you're doing? Realise what you're doing is wrong. And we will all stand up. We are going to stand up. We are going to carry on until you realise that it's wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. Ten. It's a very eye-opening and very important documentary that needs to be seen by everyone. Yes, Lewis Taylor. Um, my name is Eden. I'm Rebecca Banks. Dean Villani. Twenty-one. Twenty-seven. Twenty-three. I'm twenty. I'm an administrator. Uh, I work in politics. I'm in public relations, management and education. Um, I'm a geography student at university. I have. Um, I've been interested yeah. about the film since I saw the um, release at Sundance. Yes, I watched it on the weekend. I sadly missed it on TV, so I watched it on iPlayer. Yes. I, know, I didn't really know anything. Well, I know like they used killer whales in shows and stuff, and I've seen them all in the wild, like in documentaries and stuff where they do, you know, the thing where they swim under. So I, I don't know. I always saw them as quite like vicious kind of things, but then I don't know it portrayed them in quite a good light to start with, and then as the film went on, it kind of got darker and, and yeah. It's really interesting because I'm actually from the west coast of Canada where Tilcom was taken from so it's yeah it's uh, really sad and it, it makes you really wonder about I mean just in general animals in cap captivity and yeah how ethical it is. My thoughts on SeaWorld have changed entirely um, although I didn't particularly like the idea of it before, now I've seen Blackfish, it's really made me understand the true depth to which not only wildlife is being exploited, but also the trainer's own safety. Um, I think it's completely barbaric. I've gone to see World before and it's never appealed to me. And then when I saw the documentary, it confirmed my beliefs about the system. It actually shocks me that in 2013 we have Super World. Um, it really made me think um, about using animals for um, consumption, really, to make money. Um, I believe that every animal should have a right to be treated fairly. I suppose it's there for the people's enjoyment, so like, I think it'll be a shame to shut it down because of these few incidents, like there's only been, what, two, three deaths, but the pages and pages of people getting injured. Um, I don't like things in captivity anyway, so I'm quite against like all, all of that, so yeah, but it's, it's like an in enjoyable day out, um, but not really not really with the whole idea of putting things in small cages and keeping them there with when they're going to be out there swimming so hundreds of miles on their own. Yeah, I mean, I don't support it. I don't think people should support it. 
especially after seeing the film. But um, I mean, I think it's important for people to see because a lot of people just think it's like fun or like a, I mean, they orient it around like a family setting, you know, but it's actually like not really like suitable for families at all because people don't actually know what happens to the animal. And I have never wanted to. I visited a sea life type place in uh, abroad when I was about five, and even then, did not like it and wanted to release all the dolphins. Well, I've been to Sea World when I was uh, a young tot without facial hair. Um, no, I was very excited to go to Sea World to see um, all the animals because when you grow up, there's these exotic animals and you've heard about them, you've seen them on television. You never really have the chance to see them in um, person, and I think that's the allure of your parents for taking you to go see these wonderful creatures. Um, I don't. I I think it's despicable the way that they so-called safeguard their trainers. I don't think there's any safeguarding for them whatsoever. I just think it's one big corporate lie. From the knowledge that I have reading uh, various articles and, and basic research, uh, it seems like there is a disconnect between the, the lines that SeaWorld are coming out with and what they actually do for their trainers. It's very worrying when you hear people say uh, when there's been fatalities at, at these uh, parks with animals, it's what the handler would have wanted or it was the handler's mistake. They loved working with these animals. But they also like living. Um, and every person, any job, every job uh, deserves to have um, adequate health and safety measures at their workplace and has the right to feel safe in their workplace. And I know they're dealing with wild animals, but still um, precautions need to be taken for the animals and the safety of the trainers. I don't think that's been done in this case. I don't think it's really safeguarding. I heard in a documentary they could do something where they lift the flooring so that the water would clear, so in case there was an emergency, then something like that could really work well. But I don't agree with orcas being trained anyway, so I wouldn't suggest any of that. I just suggest the orcas to leave. I think um, you know animals are unpredictable, and you know you can't expect them to follow instructions when they're not human beings, they're wild animals. Right. Or even if they're bred in captivity, they're still animals, they're not, they're not humans. That's a really tough question, a very controversial one. It's hard to be able to release animals that have been in captivity like that into the wild. So perhaps a good option would be euthanasia, but then that's a very sad thing and really you'd hope that there was something more, perhaps some kind of sanctuary that could be set up. It's uh, I mean, if you asked me when I was eight years old at SeaWorld I would have said keep them all but become a little bit more knowledgeable about animal welfare and you realise that these are beautiful and wild creatures and they don't really deserve to be kept in a pent. Out in the wild they don't have limitations on where they swim. Um, I would, I would instinctively like to say let them all free, but I don't know what psychological damage has taken place to these animals. Are they able to actually go out in the wild and function? It would be very unfair to release animals who aren't capable of surviving in the wild uh, into the wild. Um, so I would actually leave it to more knowledgeable people, but I wouldn't trust what the vested interests have to say with the welfare of these animals. Sea World, you are there in a cage effectively, you are gawping at a beautiful animal in a watery cage. I heard in a documentary that it's possible to release the younger ones, so I think the younger ones should be released if they're young and fit enough, but then orcas like to be, need to, they can't go off into a while, they haven't lived in a while much, and they're old, they could potentially get beaten up how he does in his tank. I think that they should have a section where he can go in the ocean and see what it's like to live in the ocean rather than be kicked up in a container. I don't know, I think it's quite a difficult one because obviously it's, you know, um, Shamu is the main attraction, it's, it's the actual logo for SeaWorld, so, you know, perhaps turn it into more of an educational, sort of learning about conservation and rather than training them and doing shows, sort of um, having more of an educational value than an entertainment value of the animal.
to avoid it more than anything in the world? Oh, that's a really difficult question. Um, I think as, as humans we're all interested in the wild and, um, and the creatures that live in the wild. But when you realise they're not really creatures in the wild, they're creatures that have trains around. I think maybe you need to, people need to see to understand the issues and they need to see the animals. Uh, maybe not with the naive uh, eight-year-old eyes I had, but they need to see what they're being put through. But um, I would recommend if anybody can watch documentaries to watch these beautiful animals and maybe to go through some sort of nicer means to see them in their natural habitat rather than in a artificial cave. No, no. Um, I heavily posted on my Facebook, I got people to watch it, a lot of people that had been to SeaWorld didn't think of it in that way and somebody actually messaged me and said look Yasmin I went to SeaWorld a couple of years ago and actually at the time I was a bit confused with why I enjoyed it or not but you know thank you for enlightening me, I would never take my children there and she actually felt very guilty for having gone in the first place. I love SeaWorld. But my favourite part was not the shows, it was the um, enclosures where you learn about the animals and also the rides, um, some of the rides are really good. <laughs> it's hard, there are a lot of things I'd like to say to them, say that I'm disgusted in what they're doing, how can they do what they're doing, it makes me sick and I don't know how they can sleep at night. Think about your employees and think about the animals. I know you say you have uh, the interest and the welfare of both, but I really don't think you do. I think you're looking after yourselves, your liabilities, and you've got the lawyers always in your back pocket so you can uh, call upon them and never. It's sad, really. Well, I mean, it's just going to get worse, and people are going to be publicising this. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who care about what's happening, who've seen what's happening, and I know that you may be making it a billion dollar industry, but I, I don't think it's going to last, so quit whilst you're ahead. They can overturn everything, they can turn it into good PR, they can say, actually, do you know what, we're going to set the orca free, but the aquarium and anything else that they have, that's fine. Why don't they just set the orca free? Because I think that they would have a better perception. I think they need to completely rethink, um, rethink it because they had a death trainer and they just carried on as normal. Definitely go and see it off the scale. You need to see it, you need to know what's happening. It's very important. Um, I think any knowledge about a secretive industry uh, in which we all believe we know what's happening is useful. Um, so I, I really commend the makers of Blackfish for opening the eyes of the wider public to what is happening within the uh, within SeaWorld and other animal parks. Really. Very. I mean, I I was I had my thoughts. I heard about this. I'd seen Twitter. I was intrigued. I wondered if Tilly was violent, and I think you need to watch it to understand. And also, it's an important concept. We need to have a look at what's happening. It's crazy what's happening. Orcas being trapped in a container and conditions that they're living in, and they should be freed. I think that everyone should see it. I think it's um, something that people should um, open their eyes and really think about. That was the opponent's opinion. I'm hoping to get this out like once a month, different opinions, different subjects. If I see something really big in the news, for example, I'm going to try and get out into the public and find out their opinion on it, what they think. It won't all be this controversial. <coughs> um, so, thanks for watching. I will see you when I do my next video.